pause squats. We're doing these because we're doing these for our dynamic days, so we need to figure out what our one rep max is. We have no clue, but we're coming in, we're hitting it hard. Now what's a pause squat is really up to you, it's interpersonal. I'm gonna try and hold them a bit longer than just a quick pause, make sure I'm not cheating myself. Some people do three seconds, some people touch it, they get out. We're gonna try to hold them for a bit. This is really gonna help us find our depth, get comfortable in it, and know how to spring out when we get stuck. This is insane, he's squatting 700 pounds. Let's go baby weight. Ain't nothing but a carrot. Clean, but you can pop out of the hole faster. Oh, his depth though. Amazing. A little faster in the hole. You Buddy, you're in the trenches there. You dug deep. <laughs> Gotta go deeper than that. Nothing but a peanut, baby. The man, the myth, the legend. He's a bad boy, he's a bad example. The friggin' legend, he's going for a PR for pause. 495, baby. Let's go, buddy. Down up. for two so one thing you guys want to keep in mind and don't make the mistake that I made is if you're in a deficit in doing this I doubt many of you will be but if you are make sure you carve up refeed right for this because it is taxing especially to do both of these max efforts this close together the dynamics a bit easier but I made that mistake I definitely should have uh, I did back my optional back on the Tuesday and then the heavy leg day on the Monday so if you're gonna be doing this, make sure you carve up, especially if you're those three days back to back. Another thing that I'm really trying to work on myself, I even noticed I got red lighted on a lot, was heaving. So there's many ways to heave, but my way of heaving is I sink into my chest, because I have a big chest, just saying. So it sinks in a bit, and then I press the red light. So now when I'm descending, I'm trying to flex my chest, keep it tight, then explode out of it without it sinking in and exploding out. Although we are around two months out from our for, uh, next competition, I kind of like to train with the habits that I'll be using uh, during competition. So one of the things is that a lot of you guys may not realize, um, I showed up at the last competition and I was told that this little thing right here, you're not allowed to have it around your finger. So what I like to do when I'm training is I just tuck it underneath. Because you don't really want to show up during your competition and be told like weird little different things that you're not used to. So I just like to train like I'm going to be competing. Let's go. Oh, you're following me around? Let's go, hit your back.
So this is a chest and shoulder day. Fired up our chest from the single arm especially. Just kills it. It's very good isolation for the chest. Now we're going reverse shoulder, switch it up. High rep, 10 sets of four, just to burn out. If you guys want this program once ten, again. Four sets of 10. Four sets of 10. I'm out of it. That's how good of work it is. But if you guys want it, make sure you comment your email down below in this video. Uh, join our newsletter on our website or comment on our Facebook and we'll get you in there and we'll give you our program for free. My shoulders are a bit sore, mainly from playing football. Uh, we hucked the football around for a long time the other day. So what we're gonna do is we're actually Tackle, gonna, baby. <laughs> we're actually gonna be doing um, the cable upright row. It's gonna allow for a, a longer range of motion and it's gonna put your shoulders in a less stressful position. So we're gonna wrap this out, baby. Let's go. Some extra veins. <laughs> For me, I never really like to do extremely heavy weight and low reps with shoulders, especially since we're almost at the end of our workout. We're just doing high reps um, and we're going through the motions doing perfect form and really crushing it. Let's go. Losing all my gains. Okay, so normally do the cross arm or delt like so, but we don't have any of the machines. And these you can't really get it done too well, your arm will soft. So we substituted with face pulls. You guys might not have all the equipment we have, but you use what you can, and you can make smart decisions. Email us, up. Email us if you have any questions. Thanks for checking in. Please subscribe, comment, and share. Nobody cares. Work harder. Fuck! Let's go, Dave!